Locate the hoppers and support legs. Remove the hoppers from the skids and place on a flat, level surface. Reference your equipment drawing to ensure that you place the hoppers, cross braces, and legs in the correct orientation. Note, match line sticker may be present, aiding in correct orientation. Using a tape measure or string line, square the hoppers as necessary. Bolt the hoppers together using the corner support brackets and hardware. On collectors that have half frames, the filter module to hopper bolt holes are not symmetrical. Match line labels are provided on the filter module and all hoppers. Turn the hopper or support structure assembly so that the match line labels on the hoppers line up with the match line labels on the filter module. The match line labels do not have to line up perfectly. They are intended only for general hopper to filter module orientation. Locate the support legs and bolt them to the corner support brackets. Place each bolt in and hand tighten. Locate the cross braces and bolt them to the support legs. Again, place each bolt in and hand tighten. If your collector contains knee braces, bolt one end to the support leg and the other end to the corner support bracket. Note, do not tighten any of the bolts until all bolts have been started. Lift the completed hopper or support structure assembly and carefully overturn into an upright position. Notice the slots for lifting in the corner support brackets. Move the assembly into final position. Ensure that inspection panels or optional device connections are in the desired orientation. Level the hopper flange with a transit or carpenter's level. Grout the support leg bases if necessary. Anchor the support legs to the ground or structure. Now you're ready for the filter module.